morning class 9 and today we are going to uh, start a new chapter that is humidity okay so humidity we all know it is the presence of water in the atmosphere that is humidity now let me introduce as to what exactly humidity is and what are the terms that we will be using uh, while we are dealing with this chapter so Water, it is a very important natural resource. We all know that. And there is no existence of life without the presence of water. So um, uh, as water is very important and it is the only component of the atmosphere which exists in all the three states of matter that is in solid, liquid or uh, gaseous state. And the processes which are involved in, the, uh, in humidity are the evaporation, condensation uh, then comes sublimation transpiration evapotranspiration freezing and melting all these are the processes which is involved in um, humidity okay so by evaporation what do you understand evaporation means conversion of liquid into vapor that is known as evaporation and condensation again when vapor is converted into liquid that is known as condensation and when the vapor is directly converted into liquid, uh, sorry, solid, instead of being converted into liquid, then it is known as sublimation. When liquid is converted into solid, then we call it freezing. And when solid is converted into liquid, we call it melting. Apart from it, there are terms known as transpiration, that is, when loss of moisture takes place via the vegetation, through the vegetation, then we call it transpiration. And when evaporation and transpiration takes place together, then we call it evapotranspiration. Another term that we will be dealing with is is hydrological cycle so when we say hydrological cycle what exactly is hydrological cycle it is the circulation of the water in the environment like in the atmosphere in uh, on the land surface uh, in the water bodies when the circulation of water takes place it is the hydrological cycle and water we all know uh, is a very important source of moisture that is present in the atmosphere and the amount of moisture it varies uh, from place to place it differs from place to place as well as from time to time like in this case the percentage of water uh, that is present in cold dry area it is zero percent whereas in warm humid equatorial region it is five percent apart from it temperature decides the capacity of air as well so the temperature plays a very important role in uh, deciding the capacity of the air to hold water vapor like the warm air can hold more water vapor whereas the cold air can hold lesser amount of water vapor and uh, the water vapor it is uh, present in the lower layer meaning it is present in the lower layer of the uh, troposphere that is basically up to a height of two kilometers from the sea level we will deal with humidity so what exactly is humidity the definition has been given here it is defined as the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere at a particular time and place so humidity is nothing but it's the amount of water water vapor that is present in the atmosphere okay and uh, that is uh, at a particular time and a place so it is caused uh, due to the evaporation from the land surface from the water bodies on the earth's surface okay and humidity we can express it in uh, two ways uh, such as absolute humidity and relative humidity and we'll deal with it one by one now we will deal with the absolute humidity so absolute humidity the definition is given here it refers to the total amount of water vapor present in a given volume of air say a given volume of air is uh, one cubic meter so in that given volume of air the total amount of water vapor or the amount of water vapor that is present is the absolute humidity okay and talking about absolute humidity 
the actual amount of moisture it differs from place to place and time to time meaning uh, like it uh, decreases from equator towards the pole the absolute humidity becomes lesser as we move from equator towards the pole that is from place to place and from time to time like in the summer season uh, it is uh, it decreases from summer towards the winter season that is from time to time within the same place also it differs um, the absolute humidity differs uh, from summer season to winter season and the warm air it uh, can hold moisture um, uh, if there's change in the temperature then what will happen is uh, actually the capacity of the atmosphere to hold moisture changes but the actual amount of moisture that is present in that uh, volume of air it does not change at all then we will talk about the uh, measured in gram per uh, meter cube that is the unit of measurement of absolute humidity is gram per meter cube and it determines the amount of precipitation what amount of precipitation is present in the air is determined by the absolute humidity by precipitation what do we have to understand it means the rainfall snowfall hailstone all those are the precipitation that occurs on the earth's surface is the relative humidity okay so what exactly is relative humidity the um, definition has been given here it's a ratio between the absolute humidity and maximum capacity of the air to hold moisture at that temperature so we all know what absolute humidity is it is the actual amount of water vapor water uh, vapor that is present in the air at a given temperature is absolute humidity that in proportion to the maximum capacity of the air the capacity of the air to hold the moisture at a particular temperature that is relative humidity and um, its level of humidity is expressed here so it is a better way of expressing uh, the level of humidity as to which extent the level of humidity is expressed by uh, relative humidity and the third point is relative humidity and temperature is in inversely related meaning relative humidity of the air decreases with increase in temperature okay and um, high relative humidity means wet condition low humidity relative humidity means dry condition and the equatorial region uh, with high relative humidity and tropical hot desert is with low relative humidity okay next point is saturated air so what exactly is saturated air is when the capacity of the air to hold water and the absolute humidity the presence actual amount of presence of water if it is the same then the air is said to be saturated F next point is high relative humidity is equal to wet condition and vice versa as i've already told you when we were talking about the, um, the relation between air and uh, relative humidity and temperature at that time we talked about the uh, wet condition being present in high relative humidity area and dry condition being present in low relative humidity area then it is measured in percentage where um, absolute humidity is measured in gram per cu uh, meter cube here it is measured in percentage and um, one more point is there that is it tells us about the possibility of precipitation where relative humidity it determines the amount of how much the precipitation will be received here relative humidity will tell us about the possibility of precipitation whether precipitation will be present or not will occur or not that is given by relative humidity so this is all for today girls we will be continuing with this in the next presentation thank you stay home and stay safe study well okay